Hunter. I'm Rebecca. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nessa. This is The Family Show! I got a little ZZ Top vibe going from that one. That was pretty good. <laughs> good evening. Welcome to Family Showdown Live Top 10 Shenanigans of the Week. Hope you're all having a good old time. Lady is excited about the cold, and she's happy to be here too. <laughs> Mostly because I'm warm, I think. Right? Uh, yep. She's very cuddly. Oh, dear. I know. She doesn't want to leave. All right, folks. Jump welcome, up. welcome. I'm Hunter. <laughs> this is Lady. And this is the other lady. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I don't know why she's like Julia T- Child asked. But... <laughs> Alright, yeah. today we are presenting our top ten games we want to play right now. Right now. So, for whatever now. reason, we do this list about every year and a half. Get the game out. I don't know. So we did this list in March of 2018. And then August of 2016. So now we're doing it in November... 2019. Crazy. It seems like it was not that incredibly long ago. It's so weird. I know, I know. You like to make fun of me. I have no concept of time. <laughs> I swear I'm in some kind of weird time vortex thing. No. This was, to, make, to put it in perspective, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I have no, I have no, perspe- I have no That's perspective. That's right. That's right. So I have the our previous list here, Spoilers. just in case we have some crossovers. Mm-hmm. But there wasn't, between the 2016 list and the 2018 list, there was very little crossover. Really? Do you I tell? suspect there will be very the same. I'm not going to spoil it. I'll go over it at the end. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, but yeah, works. there was very little crossover between those lists. I suspect there will be very little crossover between these lists and our list this time. I concur. I, I did not Hello, look at, chat. I did not look at my look li- I did not look at these. They did these lists just a little bit ago. So I, okay. did, I did make my list before. Before you did that? Before I did that. Cool. All right. Cool. So, welcome, welcome those joining. Yeah. Hello, peeps. Chat's Camera's kind of off center. We got like, we got like, oh, you're sitting at like an angle. I'm sitting back. The dog's, look at her. She's falling asleep on me. You can see me. a little bit of our little den area in the back. Woo, that's exciting. <laughs> try to try to calm down. That's funny. Sorry, I got a sleepy dog. All right, you ready to go? Let's just jump right in. Right? Jump right in. So, these games we want to play right now. <laughs> Rookie and nerf. <laughs> so, some, some clarifications. Some uh, predictions. Okay. So, this can include games that are potentially not even available yet. Mostly on my part. Not as so much on her part, because she doesn't really track what games aren't available yet. So games that aren't readily available, I'm counting those, because I want to play them okay. right now, even though well, they're yeah, not available. Well, yeah, because it could be anything, right? I suspect, and here's my prediction, I'm going to have, well, spoiler on mine, kind of. I'm going to have lots of new stuff. I suspect she's going to have lots of old stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. She wants to, she's like the repeat-o person. She wants to repeat old games over and over and over. I want to play new stuff. So, Yeah, if we have any crossover, I will be a bit surprised, honestly. Let's, let's, let me predict if we're having a crossover here. Let me, let me, let me, let me Are you already picking up my list? No. <laughs> zero crossover. I predict zero crossover between our lists. We have 20 unique games tonight. That's my I, prediction. I, I, could, I can get behind that. I think that's going to be the case. Well, let's start off. All right. With my number 10. Let's my number this. 10 is I always start this year, anyway. Last, last couple year years. Too. Last couple, last couple years. years. Toi du Sean. All right, here we go. Mix it up. My number 10. I don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. My number 10. Wow, I definitely did not put that because I have not played that. Is Mega Civilization. Someday. So this is, this is, I think it's a crossover. It was on my list last year. Number, not last time. Not last. Well, it was last year. <laughs> last year. Um, mm. 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 Mm-hmm. So there you go. Mega Civilization. So Mega Civilization is a Civ game 
that can be played up to 18 players. It can take 10 to 12 hours to play. It has all kinds of fun mechanisms. The one that interests me the most, I haven't played it. I've never played this game. One that interests me most is the trading. You oh, do... I thought you did play this. No, I've never played this. Oh. So, uh, nice. the trading in the game is kind of pit-esque. It's real-time, from my understanding. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's the same way you're trading uh, things with other players. Like, you'll trade three things for three things. Okay. The trick is, you only have to tell them two of the things you're trading. So, I say, I've got... I don't know what the resource is. I've got iron and wheat. And you say, well, I have, you know, stone and this. And the third thing can be anything. It could even be something that's bad. <laughs> You've got a pound of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, and if you trade more than that, again, you're only, usually you don't trade more than three things from my understanding of the game. Because it, every additional game, thing you add can be anything as well. So. That's just like a bill nowadays. They write in Congress. They're yeah. like... It's about this, ostensibly. You get some iron and a wheat and a little bit of plague. Right inside or like <laughs> 2,000 other random things. But in Mega Civilization, I really want to play it. I've had, I've come this close to playing it a couple of times at conventions, and it just didn't work out for whatever reason. I really, like want, to, I really want to play it. I really want to play it. Conflict. Really want to play it. English. Ooh, Closest right. I've gotten is a Mega game, but it's not the same. Not the same. All right. Ooh, yeah. People are throwing down some, some good games. I like it. Yeah, throw down some more of your lists of what you want to play right now, guys. I love seeing these. All right, what Ooh, you got? What's, man, what, if I, what's if ladies I number 20, 10? Ladies number 10 is anything where you drop food on the floor. <laughs> That's a game for her. My number 10, though, is Gaia Project. And it was funny because a student actually surprised me by saying, Hey, have you played Gaia Project today? And I was like, I forgot, A, that you guys board game. And B, I'm like, you play a heavy game? And I'm like, <laughs> very cool. And I'm like, you found a friend in I me. did. I was like, man, I got the coolest students. So yeah, um, I ah, I love this game. Like it's sci-fi stuff, and at the same time, it's heavy Euro, and you're you've got a tech tree. I mean, it's got all tech this stick. Or, yeah, the tech stick for you viewers that. No, I don't know. That's so maybe a spoiler. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> we talk about this tech stick. Yeah, I called it a tech tree when I was talking about the game. You must watch the video to find out why it's a tech Tech stick. stick. But yes, we (laughs) uh, love tech sticks. And this one's got one. And I absolutely just... I can play this game a lot. And every time I play it, I try something slightly different for a tactic. It's really fun. And I'm like, okay, this time I'm going to follow this tech tree. This is the one I'm going to be good at, you know? And I just love the fact that the planets... You know, depending on which race you're playing, you are able to terraform the different types of planets, you know, some better than others because right. of your special innate abilities as that race. And I just, I, I don't know, I just really, really, really like that game. I'm terrible at creating federations for some reason, but all the other stuff I... You seem to have that problem, that. like, in all games where you get conglomerates of things. And I'm just like, I don't care about that nonsense. I just like to see things grow. I'd be a happy Bunny little kingdom the same hippie way. civilization, I guess. I just... I don't know. <laughs> it's a good one. Didn't make my list because it's not something I've It's not it's not old. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's old and I've played it. Ooh, All right, my number old. nine Ooh. is the one game that, that defies my list. I think it's only one game. Uh oh, this could be our crossover, everyone. <gasps> dun, that defies dun, dun. my list. No, oh, no, that's not true. All right, my number nine is a Yido. Oh man, Yido. That's probably my number eleven or twelve. Yido. Right now. Ooh, I like you that game. That's oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be on my short list. Oh, okay, Yido is a is a <laughs> he, is a he, no no. It's on my short list. It's on actually on my short list. We'll go over that then. Yido is a worker placement game. It's a heavy Euro worker placement game. It's got some bidding. It's got mm-hmm. some uh, attackies. Ooh, attackies. It's got missions. It's got asymmetrical powers. It's got all kinds of great stuff. And our version has cool little ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever tricked up that game did a marvelous job. It so this has come back fun. in print. I believe there was a Kickstarter. It really? Maybe, maybe ended. It may still be going. I don't know. I they didn't re- kickstart it because we already have it. Yeah, so it came fun. back into print. They kickstarted kind of a deluxified version of it. I don't think it's deluxified. Really? It's a deluxe version. I don't think TMG did it. Deluxe, deluxe version of uh, Yido. How cool is that? Anyway, if you're looking for a heavy worker placement game, you might want to look into that because I assume they're going to kickstart it and it's going to go retail. That's that's not always the case with Kickstarter, so I don't know. 
Maybe it'll be in sure. retail. If not, hopefully you kickstarted it. Because it is an awesome game and I want to play it again. <laughs> you sound like a little kid. Very cool. All right. My number nine. To me, like, I don't know. I'm sure... The giant pictures. It move. I'm sure it means something. I don't know what it means. But to me, it always sounds like a clock chiming or something. Gugong. <laughs> Gugon. Then it sounds like a cleaning agent. I don't know. But I want to know what it means. Because maybe it actually brings some sense to it. But I just... I found this game interesting. I like the fact that the whole thing is about favors. Like, giving gifts to people. And some gifts give you better favors. And... I don't know. I like the concept. I think it's... Uh, a beautiful game, and you'll probably notice a trend with a lot of my games. I want to replay them for a purpose. I've had very few plays of the vast majority, eh, not the vast majority, the majority of the games that I picked tonight. I haven't had very many plays with them, and I want to, I feel like I don't have a really good, like I don't, I can't put my finger on exactly why I like said game yet. And so I want to play it again, get to know it a little bit better, and Play with play around with the tactics and the different options and stuff like that. It's a neat game. I really like it. Uh oh, what is this? I see Kanye West in the chat. What is going on? What? I don't know. Gugong is apparently uh, means forbidden city in Chinese. Okay. I think. For Did my, you just for, make that for up? For my quick googling. Did you look it up says Google Gugong, Chinese? It's a Chinese name for the forbidden city in Beijing. Really? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, that makes a heck of a lot more sense and sounds really cool to me now. Gugon. Okay, I officially like that. Gugon. Now I won't think of it as a cleaning agent. <laughs> no, that's cool. All right, my number Assuming you're correct, eight. of course. Right? Eight? Yeah. Yes. My number eight. <laughs> what is my number eight? Oh. Sleepy dog. My number eight is Venus. Ooh. Venus. 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 From Vital Lacerda. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Venus. This is a really good Lacerda game. I won't say how good. Because <laughs> my top 100. I is will. On, my top it's, 100 is ongoing. <laughs> it's my favorite Lacerda game. So, so if you play Lacerda and you haven't played Venus, you're doing yourself a disservice. A wine disservice. Wine service. You're getting service. kind of whiny. <laughs> This is a heavy Euro game. You are uh, setting up vineyards. You're producing wine. You're taking that wine. You're either exporting it for victory points or you're putting it on shows for even more victory points. You're getting... <laughs> you have weather that controls how well your crops do. You got... It's all kinds of craziness going on. But what's cool about Lacerda games is they are super simple once you know how to play them. Because in this game, you have a little dude on a 3x3 three three grid. Say what? You move your dude to a spot and you take that action. And then it's the next person's turn. Yeah, it sounds that, it sounds so simple. But boy, do you agonize over what you're going to do yes, with that one little dude on the spot. Right? So Am I right? much it's, it's depth. Crazy. So much it's depth crazy. Oh, you're so in the sleepy. game. You're so sleepy. Anyway, that is my number eight. I don't though. really have much more to say. It's a great heavy Euro game. If you haven't, if you played The Gallerist or Kanban or any of the other Lacerda games, yeah, they're good, but you, this should, one's the best. you should play this one. <laughs> This one we played on... I thought I was going to stop talking. This one we played on Process the I. BGG I. Cruise. Yes. And we fell in love while with we were playing it, I went online and purchased it. <laughs> You're lucky. We must have been within, like, cell phone range for the no, U.S. No, they have Wi-Fi something. on the ship. Oh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. This is what Hunter does with the Wi-Fi. Oh, dear. So you can buy the... Uh, uh, last time I checked, <laughs> I don't know if this is still the case, you can still buy the deluxe edition from the Eagle Griffin website. So there you go. That may or may not be true anymore. Interesting. What's your number eight? My number eight. Are you serious? Call me shocked. Why is this a crossover? Nope. Oh, okay. Wait, maybe. What? I, yeah, I know. I have like a bunch of heavier games on this list. And this is one, The Colonists. In fact, this is one of our heaviest games. <laughs> I, especially after we were talking about it the other night, I was thinking about that. I was like, ooh, you know, this is a really good game. And we really had a good time playing, like, Era 1 and Era 2. And it's neat because each one, like, the first Era is not that hard to figure out. And then for Era 2, they just build off of that and add a little extra complexity and some things. But since you already know the basics of the game, 
adding the extra stuff to it was no big deal. So I want to take it to the next levels and see how, the difficult levels, the, the more modern eras, I guess, and see how they play. And I wish we had the time. It, uh, the, I obviously took this list as time is not an issue. Oh, yeah, obviously. Because if I wanted to play it right now, I'd want to play boom, 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 all four in a row and see how they progress. All right, get some coffee. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 12 hours later. Call in sick 12 tomorrow. 12 hours later. No. <laughs> yeah, 12 hours later. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm shocked. Yep. Call me shocked. It's a fun one. Call me shocked. We are having the heavy game weekend. We could just waste the whole weekend playing this one game. But is it wasted? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, my number seven. Let's see what we got. My number seven is... This will make make the he sh who shall not be named very happy. <laughs> my number seven is City of the Big Shoulders. I'm pity the fool. City of the know. Big Shoulders. I'm sitting funny because the dog's still in my lap. <laughs> so this is a 18xx-ish game. Ooh, an ish. Heavy Euro-ish game. No, ish. no ish, it's a heavy Euro game. Hmm. I'll be playing this probably this weekend, and I'll play it again at BGGCon Ooh, if I liked it. If I don't, I'll cancel. Wow. Cancel. I see how you are. I want to play this one because... I think, uh, I mean, I've, I've looked at it this much. I don't know how much that is in board game terms. I don't know. I think it's all relative. I've looked at it this much. I think it kind of pulls back from the train building and more focuses in the stock market and the economy of the game. That's my mm -hmm. understanding. It's, I don't know. Sorrow Song was mentioning City the, of the Big Shoulders. I tried to get expansions for... They make it a... It can make it co-op. Oh, they had a really small print run of it. I don't see that happening over here because somebody that is a waste of, of does cardboard. not play co-op. That is a waste of paper. <laughs> Heaven forbid civilizations work together. To no, my civilization has to we be better than yours. We got Cold War up in here. What did you say? Cold War. It's not Cold War. Yeah, it is. It's kind of cold outside. Yeah, it, yeah it's Cold War. <laughs> it's subtle. Yeah, 18 x is not a Euro game. This one, But this one's supposedly supposed to be... This one, City of the Big Shoulders, Ooh. supposed to be more euro -y. Yuri and less When did this mean. become an adjective, euro -y? Everything I have is E. Yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> euro -y. Mm. euro -y. See you, big shoulders. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. Maybe. Sounds like a football game or something. Big shoulders. I don't know what that means. Shoulder Should pads. it be city on the big shoulders? City Or built of off from big shoulders? City built city off of the big shoulders? With the big city shoulders? City for big shoulders. <laughs> City. What uh, kind of preposition really fits there? All right, what do you got for your seven? My number seven is underwater cities. Underwater another... cities of the big shoulders. Yeah, I think we've only played this one once. Twice. Twice. Yeah, that's right. Wow. See, but it doesn't feel like that to me, and I want to play it again and get a better feel for it because I feel like I've only played it once, and you're right, we have played it more than that. And I want to get to know it better because I recall that I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was a smooth play. And it's one of those those games that's really yeah, fits the sweet spot. It was like an hour and a half game. you kind of building from nothing. Uh, it's got a little bit of the um, power grid vibe to me. Not in the like mathy resource way, but in the I'm building up these areas and I, w I need to be able to power them. Okay. And empower them all. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that part of it because it also was doing that without the math end of it. From what I could recall, and I'd like to feel that again because I thought that was cool. And it's got these cute little, um, the little plastic pieces for your little underwater city domes. They look like those toys you had as a kid where you pop it inside out, stick it on the table, and after a while it just pops into the air. One of these days I'm going to free it and just break one trying to make it pop. Yeah, Hunter's like, don't touch my board game. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, so stuff that in the chat. If you're not following the chat, we'll, we're we're gonna give you a quick update. So ooh, ooh, ooh. one, City of the Big Shoulders is apparently a poem about Chicago. Ah, I like a. Story Tommy says it's printed background. in the box on the inside of the box. Oh, very cool! Now I want to go look that up. That's but cool. but aha! Someone wanted me to say aha, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, no, I see yeehaw. You're blind. No, no, the one. Ah! Oh, is that they're wanting? Uh, I think that's what they want me to do. They're assuming Western Legends is on my list. You, you don't know me. What else? Probably has what it else? on his list. He always has that what list. Else? I'm just... I mean, it's something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, they said the colonists, oh, uh, the expansion adds warfare. 
How can it be co-op and add warfare, but I'm interested in this warfare thing. For the colonist? Yeah. Let's get some warfare going. I'm excited. All right. Thanks for that. Thanks I'm a lot, look, guys. I'm going to have to look that up. I like that no warfare idea. Garbage. Let's take that euro and make it make it a hybrid. Pass. All right. My number six. <laughs> number six is Lords of Hellas. Dun, 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 dun. The reason this is on the list because Some metal because <laughs> because it's on the list because we I got my wave two with all the goodies. Isn't it crappily painted again though? Yes. Have wave, you painted them? Wave two. Uh, no. But it's, it's not. <laughs> wave two with all the goodies. I haven't played with them. I want to play with my goodies. Time to play with the toys. Yeah, I got. it's got all kinds of new big, giant, clunky <laughs> monsters. It's got new board areas, new things to do. Mm-hmm. And I haven't played. Oh, a sad day. So I want to play with my That's my an goodies. interesting game, too, because it looks like. It kind of reminds me, in a way, of how. Blood Rage makes me feel. You look at it and go, oh, that's going to be a heavy game. Oh, it's going to take a lot of work to set up. Oh, this and that. It doesn't, though. Mm-hmm. It's misleading, and I'll hesitate to go play it for no good reason, because it isn't like that. And it's a pretty quick game. And you can win without game. really fighting too much. And I don't really mind fighting in that game, though. No, I just it's like qu- the way the quick. combat it's works. Quick. And it's not, it's yeah, combat, it's not combat's super really painful. fast in that game. Like, I don't know. I just think it's cool, and I kind of like the sci-fi fantasy take on like the the whole mythology yeah, basically the myth, the and, gods are basically like, have this super te- high tech yeah they have tech that no and, one no one understands and that's why they're so powerful i mean that's a pretty common thread in a lot of sci-fi anyway and i i like that they kind of blended that with mythology and i don't know it's kind of cool there you go good luck finding a hundred dollars hmm uh-oh hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh man! Oh, you dressed your puppy. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold in DFW, you guys. Make sure you dress your puppies warm. All right. So, Ladies Lords of Hellas. Hell I just because I want to play with the all the expansion stuff. All right. What you got? Oh, even your big pictures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not like it's blocking your head. Oh my gosh, Hunter. I did not put that picture. What's that your big. number six? My number six is Teotihuacan. This is another one that I really enjoyed the plays that we did. And I want to get to know the plays better. And I want to um, feel more familiar with this game. Because where it stands right now, I know I really enjoyed the game. But I don't feel like I know it well enough to really talk much about it in detail. And I suspect that in the semi-near future, you know, I'm going to be building my top 100. This may be one of the games that I want to put in it. And I want to get more familiar with it. And I'm eager to play it again. Right. So. I played it twice. I think you've only played it once. See, I can't remember. So I'm going to have to go back and look at my plays. And again, I just don't feel familiar enough with it. And I want to be familiar enough with it that I can go and play. Of course it's warm here, Dean. You stinker. (laughs) Mr. Hawaii. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think I read somewhere or heard somewhere or heard on the radio that something like 80% of the continental United States is below freezing tonight. That doesn't surprise. It's winter. And I think we're getting a cold winter this time around. Yeah, but that's crazy. Because that includes, like, areas that don't... That aren't, we're not normally below freezing in November. It's rare. Yeah, we're getting an early winter here. I'm hoping for an ice storm. I think all my students are hoping for an ice storm. Just I, a cold storm. No yeah, ice. It's just cold that's right now. It's a good now. one. I want to play this one, too. But, but yeah, no. Teotihuacan, it's really neat. And I, I think like, it made my short list. I, what I can't remember, and I like I like the way the dice work. Didn't in that even make my short list because the dice you don't really roll them per se; they level up. Yeah, they're really workers. That and are I like levels. what they do as they ascend or whatever they call it. it. Has a weird term, but when they get up into the superpower range, they do some really cool stuff, and you just want to time that right so that you can do things because you don't want everything to go at once because then you have a really terrible turn after that as you're trying to rebuild right. and stuff. I just the timing on that was pretty cool. And yes, Dean, I would love to come to Hawaii and play games. I am totally on board with that. I unfortunately 120 Canadian for having warfare in the colonists. Let's do this. Woo! Woo! All right, my number five for the top half. Let's do this. This is all (laughs) the hot. This is the buzz. That picture's tiny, but I don't care. This is all the buzz. This is the game that's getting the buzz right now. The buzz, the buzz. From Mr. Alexander Fister. Oh, yes. Okay. Alexander Fister. Fister, yeah, the great the Great Western Trail. And, I was gonna say he does good and, stuff. I love those games. 
Mines of Zavador games. and Isle of Sky and wow, I, what other game? Did, did we own another game of his. Flew out of my head. Um, I can't think of it, but I know it's good. I don't know because I like all of his stuff. Anyway, <laughs> his newest newest thing that just got released is Maracabo. Is that how I'm going to say it? Because I don't know how to say it. Maracabo. Cabo. Kaibo. It's got A I right. Kaibo. I don't. Maracabo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, listen to you. Oh, holy toady. I'm just throwing it out say, there. Say that one more time. Hey, just say it with confidence. Say that one more time. Maracaibo. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Mubasa, that's the game. That's a, Mubasa. That's a game. And Broom Service. All the great games. He's Mufasa. like He's like all the hotness right now. <laughs> the guy's and got a great... I like his games. So this game looks great, games. great. It looks like... It's got... Uh, it's got... Uh, one thing I want to... Like, I'm finding I, I like in games. And this is kind of like if you put, played... Um, Following the chat, sorry. It's very similar to... Uh, <laughs> Hidden Pluto or whatever it is for space. Shy Pluto. Shy Pluto. Pluto, yeah. Um, it's got a story mode, but the way the story mode works is um, there's like a goal for the for the oh, story, okay. and once you achieve that goal, you immediately in- unveil the next piece of the story. So okay. You, so you can do sp- more, more than one piece of the story within one game. Yeah. Or you might not do what it requires you to do, and mm-hmm. you don't reveal any new story in during the game. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's kind of a campaign story game, but I don't think it doesn't have legacy... Com- as far as I know, it doesn't have a legacy thing where you tear things up and destroy it. You can reset and play through the story again. You can pick one of the stories and play that as your game instead of playing the campaign. Um, it's got exploration. I can't remember on all has worker placement, maybe. But at, at its heart, it's got that card play thing he has going on in his games, in all his games where you, the cards kind of drive the action. Mm-hmm. Heard a lot of good things. It's at BGGCon. I am going to get it. If I have to beat people up, I'm on and get it. So, I want this game. I'm excited. <laughs> Javi says it's America. America. America Ebo. America Ebo. <laughs> America Ebo. So, yeah. Ooh, so, I'm excited about that some one. Good stuff. This is like in the top two or three on the hotness at, on BGG Con this right now. Weird. And again, it's going to be at the convention I'm going to next week. Mm-hmm. It is next week. It is next week. Wow. I know. Yeah. Time's flying. It's going to be at the convention next week. I'm going to get a copy, Make hopefully. I hope on. it doesn't sell out like instantly. So um. You guys are showing... You're talking about some good stuff like Paladins. Oh, that's such a good game. Crown of Amara. Ooh, another good game. Man. All right, what's your number good five? Picks. Good picks. My number five is one of the ones that I have played a lot, and I'm just wanting to have some nice, peaceful plays of Wingspan. There's something just nice and calming about looking at gorgeous little birds. And picking all these cool combos. It's not like a super attacky game, but it's fun. You, you kind of... You, you're not like isolated either, just doing your thing on your own playmat. Because you get bonuses and things off of what other people are doing too. So you want to pay attention to what other people are doing. And kind of play off of what they have. Um, but majority of it's on your own mat. And making good combos. And building out your, you know, your playboard. And I just absolutely love how that game was designed it at first glance you might think it's really super light or something but it's not it's actually got a nice yeah. solid game underneath it and i'm exp- i'm really excited hearing more about the expansion that i, mean, I pre-ordered oh i love you all right so <laughs> so it's you know it's gonna be just awesome i'm looking forward to it we get more birds from different part of the world for the most part i think Europe. And then, yeah, it's mostly Europe, right? European. I think they were... They're calling it the European expansion. I... All I could think of was, what's the velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> it's, yeah, they're European <laughs> birds. Yeah, but... Um, For the most part. I heard that some of them are a little more interactive with the other birds yes. and yes. stuff like that. And I, I'm excited about that. It's just... It's so pretty. And it's fun. And it's one of the few games that I can just crack out. And I really enjoy playing solo. And I'm not a solo player. I feel like board games, to me, like, I'm usually around people anyway, so I should be playing with them. I don't know. (laughs) But it's awesome, and I love that game. That's a good one. Not good enough to make my list, but it's a good one. Wow, I see how you are. My number four (laughs) is Rising Sun. Rising Sun. Mm -hmm. I've only played this game once. I got, like, the whole everything right over there, right behind Rebecca. Right there. Everything for Rising Suns right there. I've only <laughs> played it one time and I loved it. I loved it. Did we only play it one time? 
one time with everything? We only oh, played wow. it one time. Man, that was a and good And we play. didn't even play with all the expansions. We played the bare bones base game. Did we really? Yes. Wow, that was a crazy intense game, too. So I want to play this. I want to try it with lower player counts. Because we played it with... The whole thing. Five, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Six? Five. five or six. Five or six. I don't know what the... Whatever. One, two, three, four. I think it was six of us that played. Yeah. Um, if it's six players. If it's five players down the line, it was only five. <laughs> <laughs> Rising Sun. Oh, I love this game. It's uh, area control, dudes on the map, but you got negotiation, secret bidding, all sorts of craziness, superpowers, crazy asymmetrical clans. It's like you have the butterfly clan. They can move anywhere they want on the board. They just boop, 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 everywhere they want to go. Big, giant, clunky miniatures, grotesque looking Japanese horrific monster things going across the board killing people. It is greatness. Is our rising sunset painted? No. Sorry, Book. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not not painted. They're very pastel y color looking. Yep. They're like all... I think it is dragonfly or something. We what I call it butterfly? Yeah, yes. it's dragonfly. <laughs> I don't know why I said butterfly. Okay. Behold the fearsome butterfly. butterfly clan. Yeah, yeah. It's not something you Ooh, good question, Dean, Dean. You need to watch my top 100 games of all time, and that question will be answered for you. Yes. <laughs> yes, Pink Lady. She is a Pika Palm mix. She's a Pekingese Pomeranian. And right now, you probably see more of the Pomeranian because she got her hair cut. But let me tell you, when her hair grows out, she's she got like the mop. Pekingese mop she thing like going on. Mop. She looks like a little mop. Um but so yeah. it was five. Tommy said it was five. Yeah, I thought he, it was five. He shall not be named said it was five. <laughs> you shall not be named. All right, what's your number four? All right, my number four, again, has been played before. This is one that I enjoy playing over and over again, and it's about time that we play it. I can't and, argue with this one. This is a good one. Yeah, and it's it's by Feld, and it's one of my favorite Felds, and I feel like another play of this could change my rankings, and that's Amerigo. <laughs> You're falling asleep and tilting your head. The dog is just like... Passing out. She's cold. Say the name. I said already. You're not listening. Oh. Amerigo. <laughs> Amerigo is um, the one Feld that I really like that has the cube tower in it. And it's weird because at the beginning of the game, you dump a bunch of cubes in it. But then at the start of the game, when you actually start playing, she's looking for more pets. When you start playing, um, as your turn goes, it'll give you a certain amount of cubes that you drop in. So you drop it in, but different cubes can get knocked down. Whatever cubes fall through the tray are the ones that you have to work with. And the colors and the quantity determine like what and how much of that activity you can do each turn. I love that. I don't know why, because it's, it's almost like rolling the dice, you'd think. But it's not. And it's cute little cubes instead of stinky old rotten dice that hate me. The cubes... I usually can find something creative to do with the cubes if I don't get exactly what I need. And I really enjoy all the different options um, that you have in this game. It's just really, really, really fun. Yep. Love That's it, love good. it. It's a good one. That's a good Amerigo one. I'm, I'm all, I'm right. all for playing that one. I'm all for playing that one. You should dig it out, Sorrow Song. I think that you, if you like Feld games, I think this one's a, a very fun game. It is good. Feld. Especially like Tetris games where yep. you're Tetris tetr tetr pieces. Up, or you're going to make me fall asleep. All right, my number three. You're making me my fall My number asleep. three. I'm playing at BGG Con. I'm super excited. I'm hoping I am. And you want to play it now. I want to so be the, the spicy guild. I'm hoping I get to be the spicy you guild. You are spicy. Because I want to spice. I want the spices, the spice <laughs> of life. That? In Dune. Nice. Dune. Oh, no, thanks. So I played Rex <laughs> one time. I loved it. No one else liked it, but I loved it. <laughs> it's got potential. But I want to play Dune. I've read the rules to this game. I'm so excited to play it. I've already read the rules and learned how to play. Oh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy fun at, at BGG Man, Con. Man, you're just going to, like, burst if you have to wait much longer. I know. Like... <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm already reading the rules to the games, and they're like two weeks away. No, no it's only week one and, week. Week and a half. Week and a half now. One week. 20th so... is when the con opens. Is that a Thursday or a Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, Dude, that's a week away now. It's Tuesday night. You realize that, right? Yeah, it's true. It's only a week away. Woo! Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> about about Dune. We got the full six players. We're ready to rumble. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Spice people. I don't know. We'll see. What, who, uh, spice people. <laughs> make them pay. Make pay them for pay. my transportation service. Oh my goodness. What is <laughs> So if you don't know, Dune is a very asymmetrical game. It's kind of dudes on the mappy. 
Um, you have, uh, like, there's a goal to control certain points on the board. So I guess it's area control in that, in that aspect. <laughs> you can do alliance, you form alliances. You can break alliances. You can do all sorts of crazy, fun stuff. Uh, a few different people have different ways to win. Um, and if your alliance wins, everyone on your alliance wins the game. So if someone That's on cool. your alliance wins, everyone on your alliance wins the game. Yep. Um, it's really cool. Looks fun. I like Rex, but I, I love the Dune. Uh, I don't. I've said this before. I, I don't really have any kind of affinity for the Ti universe. I don't even know what it's called. Um, I don't Twilight think. Oh, I like the little cat guys and the turtle dudes. I, I, How can you not? But I've read tons <laughs> of the Dune books. I love the Dune universe. So it's you gonna have be, the Dune books, don't you? Or yes, some of them. I have all of them somewhere. Okay, and all so that mess over here in our. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm more excited yeah. to play this one, and we'll see what happens. So, so Paul, you said you've read it earlier. Did you like it? Because I'm going to read it. It's on my to-read list soon. you never read the Dune book? No, I haven't read the book. I know! That's why I keep asking you where your book is, so... Right? <laughs> it's one of those that's like the ultimate it's like sci-fi thing you must read, right? One of those big-name books. I haven't gotten around to it yet, so need to read it. Yeah, the first one's good. Second one's pretty good, and then it starts going off the rails. <laughs> I, I just want to read at least the first one to get an idea. So, all right, what's your number three? Good times, good times. Really? Oh yes, my number three is a big giant. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna say a big blinky. <laughs> no, it is a tapestry. As a matter of fact, tapestry. This game was a blasty blast when we played it. And it just felt, I mean, it just seemed like it clicked really well. I really enjoyed it, and I want to play it again because I suspect that with a few more plays, this is another one of those that's probably going to end up in my top 100 or close to it. So I want to I want to play it. I want to get a better feel for it. Play it correctly? Yes, that too, because we messed up something, didn't we? Yeah, the technologies. Oh, yeah, we made, it, we made it much harder on ourselves. Yes. Yeah, and... Considering how far we progressed when we were really just trying to make our lives miserable for no good reason, I want to try it when the technologies are actually easier and accessible. Right. Because <laughs> now I'm like, wow, the possibilities. You know, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I am looking forward to it. Yep, I want to play that one too. Yep. We need to try it. We never tried it two players. That's true. We need to do that. We've been wanting to try That's it. also a requirement, I think. All right. My number two, we're getting up to the crazy. This is like the stratosphere here. Is it? And you know what number two is? Number two is On Mars. Oh my gosh. When is that on coming out? Mar I just did some reading. It got kind of delayed-ish. There's like chi no! Chinese holidays going on right now or something. So it's supposedly it's about, uh, they showed pictures today of it getting put in the container in China. But then it's got to get on a boat. Hey, I'm on, a, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> the boat uh, has to travel to the U.S., and then the U.S. has to distribute it out. And then you cool. got customs and other garbage that's got to go through. So I'm guessing January-ish. January-ish. You know what? We have a lot of games between now and then. I accept. But I think it's at BGG Con for demoing. Listen here. <laughs> Just for dinner. Zarek says that my wife and I have only played Tapestry two players, and they love it two players. So that makes me very good, excited good. to I'm hear. Excited. I'm excited. Yay. One more. So it's the latest yes, and greatest Vital Vital Lacerda game. Yeah. Um, on Mars. You're on Mars. You're doing stuff on Mars. That's about all I know. I really haven't read the rules. I, I kind of held off spoiling it too much, but because that's one of my favorite things is cracking open the box and reading the rules. But. It's <laughs> if it's Lacerda, it's going to be super deep, super complex, but the mechanisms are going to be easy to understand. Right. That's the way his games always seem to be. So, I'm excited. Sci-fi, Mars, greatness. Lacerda. I'm like the combo. But what could Here's beat it? it? This is my number two. Well, I know what it beats it in my book. All right. What's your number games two? Games that we have that I want to play over. <laughs> What's your number and two? number two of that. It's Gentes, or Gentes, or whatever you people want to call it. It's Latin, it's Gentes. Gentes. Mm. Gentes. So, peoples. <laughs> peoples. But I want to play this again. This is another one I want to get a better feel for, because right now some of these games 
because they do not similar things per se, but they have that similar vibe for me, the time frame and the things that the mechanisms that I enjoy. I goodness lady, you're going to put me to sleep. She keeps yawning. <laughs> um, I want to play this again. I really liked the tug of war in this one with the, the resources. Their you've worker got, guys. Yeah. You've got these worker guys and they're like your population. Yeah. Your whatever. population. And they're good at like two things. But if one's doing, like, really well on the one, that means you're not doing as much with the other guy on that particular right, they, they're, level. They're and there's several different... each other, and they... they, they it's, like a, it's, like, war. it's like a dial. They, yeah, they... You dial this one up, this one has to be dialed down. And yeah, it's, and it's, it's, it's really interesting, and I, I want to play it again and just recall... Because, again, this is another one that could be a good contender for a top 100. I mean, it was just a really solid game, but... Was that because I played it and it was another new, <laughs> oh, this is really cool new stuff, right? The joke. The... Would you play it if it didn't have a box sleeve? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's this snooty game. This oh, it's deluxified. PTF. Deluxified. <laughs> you know what, though? That's one thing that can sell it sometimes. I don't, not the sleeve. <laughs> Whatever. But the really cool deluxe pieces and bits, sometimes that just, you know, like Everdell. Some of it's a little samey to other games that we have, but gosh darn it, you get this cool tree, and you have these fun little pieces and and the art, and it makes it unique enough that okay, I want to play that again. You know, I I like to keep that game. I think it's fun. So, good times, good times. So Gentes, Gentes, Gentes. My number one. Sorry guys, I, the, our our costuming is buried. So I can't pull out the cowboy oh, hat yeah. for Western Legends. Ah Jeez, oh, you probably woke up the children. Western <laughs> Legends. So while we were doing our game day this weekend, my anti up expansion came in, and I'm ready to anti up. I'm excited. I can play. There's more poker games. I can rob a train. It's all kinds of craziness going on. More characters. More more different more different different things to buy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Different My English is flying different out the window. Just more different <laughs> You bottomed out the mic. Good I'm job. Ex- I'm excited. If he doesn't break the mic at least once a night, you guys would be disappointed. Oh, man. I'm so excited. So I was sort of... Mm. While they were playing some... What game were you guys playing this weekend? Some ghost game? Oh, the Ghost Love Candy? No, you guys were playing uh, Res Arcana. Yeah. And I was sorting my, my goodies. Oh, yeah, Res Arcana. I was Ooh. sorting all my goodies and my Kickstarter extras and... And, and here, look at this. Ooh, congrats on winning some games, Dean. While Hunter's getting his toys. Trying to catch up on what you guys And think. I got this! Yeah, they're starting from a... <laughs> that lady is like, what the heck just happened? I is that this. not beautiful? Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I want to sleep with it tonight as a blankie. That would not be surprising. <laughs> just take it out of the plastic so you don't accidentally suffocate. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, so I'm excited about Western Legends. I want to play it again. I'm super excited. Super fun. Super, super fun. excited. So, yep. so, so me and my bestie, we're probably going to get together and have a, a Zaya to 20 points and a Western Legends Day. It's, it's over Thanksgiving. You're already making And plans. you're involved in this. I am. Yes. We need oh, three people. Man. Here I go. <laughs> I'm excited about Actually, this. Actually, I'll probably win these games because how you usually do that is you two squabble and fight over each other because they're like, you can't win. Ha ha ha. And then I win because you two kill each other. Yeah, we're just it is a shooting fun, each other the whole time. It's like a tradition. It's really fun. I just uh, sit back I'm, and watch the I'm show. I'm so excited. So much fun. Sandboxy goodness and oh, oh, booking. What sold me is when I was pu- punching out the, the, the expansion, there's a chip that says high roller on it. What is it? I must know. <laughs> Because I love the gambling part of the game, and I can be a high no roller. No one would ever guess high that. High roller? Goofball. What is that? I'm excited. Oh, man. you got to bring out the cowboy hat. I know. It's, it's we, true. We, after we did our Halloween thing, we bought a big bin to put, put all, all our costuming, costuming in, and so it's buried in the closet somewhere. we got to save all those nonsense for future. Should have kept the cowboy hat out. It's true. I'm so unprepared. So I'm. Oh, no. Really, Julio? So Canada... They screw up the shipping for that? That's too bad. For Western Legends? Yeah. Huh, I haven't heard that. That stinks. I don't blame you. I'd be bummed too. Hmm. I know that the, uh, the, uh, there's a, a misprint or something? Oh, there's something on the mat, the big mat I just showed. There's a, a new symbol that's not anywhere in the game. And everyone's like, what is this symbol? You 
you put something on it and aliens come down. I guess. Get away from the aliens, baby. They divided the uh, shop, the general store, and the something else. The Hmm. the two there's the there's two stores. There's two different places you can shop, and they split the symbols, made them different for some reason. Holy cow! Anyway, Western Legends. I'm so excited. I want to play it so bad. Man, Sorrow Song, you, I swear you like read my mind. Add in Merchants and Marauders, and you have the Merchants and Marauders, and you have the Trifecta. Got the Zaya. That's true. You got the Western Legends. Got Merchants and Marauders. You That's know what? True. It's so true. That's true. Those yeah. are three just sandboxes. So I wonder. I'm curious. I'm curious. If Javi. I'm... Javi says he can't hear you without your hat. <laughs> Do not know. I shouldn't have told. Javi, I'm gonna have to put you in timeout. You keep this nonsense up. That is not a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh. Don't blow out the mic. That is not... Put that on your... <laughs> to work. Panama hat. That's a bit of a dandy for a cowboy right there. <laughs> gonna get beat up, boy. Alright. Right. So, <laughs> what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I don't know. Before you distracted sorry, me. Sorry, Jobby distracted me. So... Smooth criminal. <laughs> oh, sorry. So what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say Rebecca. <laughs> so Rebecca... Rebecca... <laughs> And the, two, the last two lists, the last two lists that we did of this, she had the same number one. I wonder if it's three years or three times in a row. I bet it is. No way. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Oh, you scared me. Yeah, I thought you were gonna get three in a row of the same game. It's not. I think I know what it is now. That All right, was do probably it. Do my it to it. Dominion. I want to torture. It's not that I want to torture Hunter. I just want to have. A nice, relaxing time with a game that I'm very familiar with. And I don't know what it is about deck builders. I just love them. They're relaxing. They're fun. And there's so much variety. And you made me that cool briefcase of doom. And I just want to play them. And that's the end of story. Did I pick Viticulture last time? Yes, last two times. I toyed with that. Pick, I'm not going to lie. last two times, Vic, Viticulture was your number one. Viticulture on Yeah, here. we'll play this again. I, I got the app on my uh, uh, iPad. Oh, yeah, where, the where, where it randomizes. Mm-hmm. You put all your expansions in and all your promos. Yeah. And you say, give me some cards. And it goes, yeah. bloop, 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 and it gives you the cards that you play with. Right. And you say, if you want to have this expansion and this, you have to pick all your expansions you don't want or this one, you add this in and different combinations. And you hit it. If you don't like that set, you push the button again, boom, you got a different set. Yep. So. <sighs> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. There's another expansion for for Dominion? Oh, good grief. Yeah, we, the, I didn't get you the last one. The She does, she has, she doesn't have Nocturne. You're it's missing called, not. You're missing like three or four, three. I think three expansions. You're okay. missing. Okay. Well, there's one I don't want. Well, you got we got rid of alchemy, but I think there's three others. Like you're missing nocturne. I played that in orchestra. That was a good piece. I don't remember what the other. She's missing two. I think two or three expansions. She didn't have. Hmm. I don't know. Good times. There you go. Yeah. Hope us to get this. I don't know, I'm pretty content though, because you got. Well, of course, there's a little room for expansion in that sucker. There mm, is. I'm gonna have to think about this. All right, so let's let, let's the do this. Is good. Let's go over my quickly go over my list of games. What's funny is I check marked. I have the potential Maybe to pay in six of my ten in the next ten days. That's beautiful. I probably don't unless I play solo. But <laughs> I'll play with you'll you. You'll be a BGG, baby. I will play solo. Yeah, well, maybe you will. Or invite, invite a friend over and play. All right. So here's All my, my friends live long here's my short away. list of games that, that are not on my top ten. I'm gonna go through them quickly. Container, Merchant of Venus, Scythe, mm. Tapestry, mm. Spyfall, Time Travel, Ooh. Tortuga sixteen sixty seven. I thought you were gonna say tortilla. I don't know why. I'm not hungry. Star Trek Galactic Empire Enterprises. What, QE. What? what was that? What? what? Leaving Earth. For, just for you kids. I actually read, <gasps> Ooh, I actually read the Earth. rules to Leaving Earth. I, I want to. It's We're getting closer, Kabuki. Barrage. What's that? It's a Euro game where you're uh, you're basically it's uh, you're building dams and there's a mechanism where the water trickles down through all the plants and... And based on the path it takes, you, you you got people can build stuff that would divert it away from your stuff down further Ooh. down. But anyway, barrage and Orleans, Orleans, Orleans stories. Hmm, interesting. You know what, Jobby? 
Tortilla 1667. That is a crusty sounding game. <laughs> right there. I'll or maybe it. it's Tortilla $16.67. Or maybe so it's, it's Crunchy. Crunchy? What do you mean? Board game lingo? It's crunchy. Got lots oh. of rules. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So Barrage, okay, so that, some of those games, I like the Star Trek one, have I heard about that one? Which one? The Galactic Star Trek Enterprise, one. I told you, the Galactic Enterprise is right here. Yeah, boom. Oh, that one, okay. I don't know why I forgot that, uh, yeah, okay. Woo woo, yeah, I won't play that. I... And Tortuga? Tortilla? 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 <laughs> Tortuga, I want to play that. Yeah, the, um, when I made this list this time... I specifically only wrote down the first 10 games that came into my head because clearly those were the games that I wanted to play right now. I was not going to just go slam down a list. I was like, nope. First 10 games that come into mind that I want to play right now are the 10 games that I want to play right now. And then I ranked them. So did you have, like, it sounds like you had a bit of a, a honorable mention. So did it just more than 10 pop I in your tons, head? Or, yeah. tons of games to yeah. pick from. Merchant of Venus, I'm playing this at BGG Con. Kabuki Kid, she asked, which version? I don't know. Let's look. <laughs> Let's look. Let's look at what version I'm playing. See, the Orleans stories, I know, Julia, I'm kind of like, hmm, I'm curious about that myself because I really love Orleans and I don't want it to be ruined by a weird edition or anything. So we'll see. All right, so he has a customized set. Oh, this is who you're playing with? Yeah. Doesn't say which, doesn't say which version, though. Let's see. A mystery. Wow, that takes up a lot of table space. Uh, don't know. Don't know which version it is. Ooh, a mystery. It is. Wait. Okay, Jobby, I suspect that was a Google Translate kind of thing, because I see toilet and cat and something in the same comment there. I think you just threw all the words you know in Spanish together. <laughs> Hold on. It is. I'm speaking from experience. That's not unlike something I'm It's that version. <laughs> that version. That's the that's the copy we're playing. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? It's pretty. It looks cool. So that's the version. You'd make Eric very happy. That's the version I'm playing. That's exciting. Alienware! Alienware? Oh. <laughs> Nerd, you showing your computer off? My my lack of uh, things. Lack of things. I don't have a lot of. I don't really play a lot of this stuff on my computer. Oh no. All right, let me get the chat back. Maybe chat, they said what, maybe they said what version it was. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say all you smarty make smartersons. Tell us what version it is. The crunchiest, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see here. See, si, senora lady. <laughs> Tapestry, Ooh, side, side wingspan. wingspan, Orleans, trade, anachrony. Ooh, anachrony's a good one. Dinosaur Island. You, man, you guys are picking some good games to want to play. Oh, Obscurio. We haven't talked about that one. What? Obscurio. We're talking about Tuesday. We don't talk about... Today's Tuesday. The next Tuesday. Oh. On the variety show, we talk about games that we uh Now played. you'll never know what I think <laughs> about Obscurio until <laughs> next week. You better come next week and tell us what you think about it. Oh, okay. Play, so I didn't know. I didn't. I thought, this week. I thought for merchants the expansions would look different, but I don't know. <laughs> no Star Trek Ascendancy. Oh, don't worry. It would be on a short list. I guarantee it. Yeah, it was on my list I'm last time. I was kind of in the mood to play that game too. That's I want. I want to it's next really next good. time we play it. We're playing with the Borg because I've never, I've yeah. never used the Borg expansion. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So you can't tell. Uh, yeah, I don't know which version of Merchant of Venus. I don't know mm -hmm. anything about it. I've never played. I'm curious. It's not my kind of game, but I think it's like one of those games that you really need to play, I guess. Eric would for, agree. For historical purposes. Historical purposes, huh? <laughs> Spoiler, she hates it. Huh. Hates what? <laughs> Ascendancy? Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, no. Talking about the game we're going to play. Oh, Obscurio. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Obscurio. Spoilers. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> I was the grim one. Ooh, Concordia. Concordia's a good one. That's another goodie. All right, let's do let's do some housekeeping. Let's get out of here because we've been it's almost an hour. That's true. All right, here we go. I have created a family showdown guild on BGG 
Oh yeah. The BGG website. I'm a slacker. The I need details are down in the description. Ooh. So join up. There's not much going on right there right now. I got like a poll and some other things. You can introduce yourself if you want. But the main thing that's there right now is there our schedule of videos for the next month, two Ooh, months. Ooh, how nerdy! Is, I love it. It's all scheduled out, so you can see when stuff's coming out. Very cool. And I plan on doing polls there periodically just to get information, like what guys you like, what things you like to see, what you don't like oh, to see. Oh, maybe some some info when you're researching for your math stuff too, right? That'd yeah, that's good. true. You I guys mean, can give suggestions for by the numbers over on the that'd be cool. Hour. That'd be cool. All right, so yay! You guys are already joining our guild. Woo! That's right. so awesome. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I mean, it, hopefully it'll, it'll, you know, grow. And there's all, I mean, it's a good place if you want to ask questions about things or why I picked this. Where's the guild again? It's Family Showdown Guild. It's, uh, it's on BGG Con. There's a, there's a link down in the description of this video. So if mm -hmm. you go to the description of the video, there's a link to the guild on BGG Con. B B I think it came BGG Con. The BGG Board Game Geek website. Board game geek. I don't know why I was saying BGG fun. I got <laughs> you I'm got ready BGG to go, on the man. Brain. He's like, go, go. So my top one hundred, my top one hundred games of all time. It's all ongoing. The games. Today was fifty to forty one. I have mm -hmm. just edited forty to thirty one. That's coming out Thursday in two days. Next week is our variety show. You're we'll talk about new game purchases that we have and the games we played. There's going to be a lot. I'm You're thinking so that we're probably going to talk about twenty. 15 to 20 games is my guess. For which thing? For next it? Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. So, 15 to 20-ish games. Possibly. It's been a busy, busy time. It's and we're exciting. going to have at least uh, four new games purchased. Oh, we have a guild thought. number? Did you know that? Yeah. The BGCon guild. Wow, thanks, Kabuki. Numbers. 3649. There you go. Yeah, I, 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 someone, I I someone started a, on the on the BGG or Guild, someone started a kind of introduce yourself kind of thing, and it would be cool if you do that. If you don't, you don't. I don't it's up to you. I like that. I like that. It's I, kind of fun. Well, I, and it's like, you know, like we want to do, and people meet up at like um, BGG Spring. It's fun to be like, oh, we've met before online, like this was my handle when we're on YouTube or whatever, right, and right. I think it's really fun to see who we've been at, interacting with, and it's it's pretty cool. You should do that. So, uh, what I found interesting, like, in our first ten people that joined our guild, I think there was five different countries. That's so cool! <laughs> I was like... I love you guys! You guys are just awesome! So, How exciting! So, yeah, it was, I thought that was interesting. Um, I think because uh, most of the people that saw the guild go up were from in Europe because of the time frame. Time frame? Time That's frame. awesome! Because so, I edited the video, or our first live video, our live video, I think, from last week. I edited it in the guild... And so really the first people to see that were the people re-watching it, which a lot of those were, I guess, in Europe. That's so cool. That part of the world. So Yeah, I need to get on there. I'm Vulcan. Julio was the princess. first one to post in the guild. Ooh, go Julio. Go yeah. Julio. So, Super fan. First one to post. All right. Gold star for Julio. That's right. So there you go. I think I've covered everything. You guys are awesome. Next Tuesday, Variety Show. Um, the Tuesday after that is BGCon Recap. Woo, woo. Crazy, huh? That'll be fun. So I'll go over all the games I bought, all the games I played. It'll be crazy fun. Games you bought? I've already purchased games. Yeah. I'm not even there yet. <laughs> I already have purchases go, Aaron, finalized. Go, and um, Man, everybody, you guys are awesome. I can't wait. I actually am going to get on there eventually. Sorry. I don't get online to that stuff very often because once I'm done messing with computers all day, I don't come home and play on it very much. But and Vulcan underscore princess is me. So when I do finally pop in there. And eventually I'm going to get around to, uh, on the guild probably is where I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to link uh, my top 100s. I have them all in a spreadsheet. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, some of our, do that. like our list of all the different videos we've done and things like that. I have all our top 10s and the date they were published and things like that. I just need to edit it. Uh, I think I have to do something to make it where it can't be... Uh, changed by other people. I don't. I haven't looked into doing that. I need to. Mm. I want to do do that and then link a bunch of these different uh, spreadsheets. I figure people would be interested in. That's cool. In seeing those. So awesome. Basically, for the top, I figured the top ten would be a great one because if you go, oh, here six player games is published on this date and has this name, you can look it up easily on our thing. So that'd be cool. So, so any kickstarters that caught your attention recently? Yes, do tell because these are always uh, a surprise for me. I haven't backed anything super recently. Good question. Um, Good question, General. I, I haven't I haven't backed anything. I think the last thing I backed was that game. Um, 
where you play the fantasy merchants and you're selling different goods and you're trying to get adventurers to buy your stuff. Hmm. So I think that's the last thing. Is that that tavern game? Merchant's we Cove. Oh, Merchant's Cove. Yeah. Okay. So that's the last thing I backed was Merchant's Cove, and then before that it was the role player expansion. I think. Yep, role player expansion. I backed a bunch of expansions. I haven't bought anything new recently. Seems like all the hotness now on uh, Kickstarter seems to be dungeon crawls with tons of miniatures, attacky oh, games, gotcha. and uh, those really aren't my style of games. So, and I, I've also, I've also it would be if I had some more time. I think I'm coming a little more hesitant on Kickstarter because there's been a lot of weirdness on shipping and delays and weirdness and. Uh, people getting the retail copies before Kickstarter copies and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. I'm kind of, I think I've kind of backed up. Rebecca doesn't consider it backing up because I have like 10 things out right now that haven't come in. But yeah, I used to back something like once a month and I don't do it so much anymore. Yeah. Ken Jennings, I didn't do it. I thought about it. But I, I suspect that if that, that if that did well in Kickstarter, it's going to be in every Walmart and Target in the world. In the United States awesome. at some point. So. That's good. Woo, late. You're uh, I late. don't know. It just seemed, it seemed, when I, when I looked Shit. at it, it seemed very, very super generic. Really? Maybe that's what they were going for, but I don't Probably. know. Probably. Ken Jennings. Hmm. Onk. Oh, onk. oh, I'll be, I'll be first day backer of that game. <laughs> you know what that is? I've heard about it, yeah. It's the, the Eric Lang Egyptian theme. Yeah. Uh, that looks interesting. So. Yeah, it looks like, it looks seems a little more Euroy maybe than a lot of his games. So Nothing wrong with curious that. to see how how it goes. There yeah, I'll back go. that one. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I'll, I'll probably end up buying it, but I'll probably buy it mass market that trivia game. Also, it's got kind of a betting thing with it, like kind of. Yeah, basically, it's kind of pressure see? luck in a way. I think it's basically. Maybe it's pressure luck. I can't remember. It's basically you can do the more you do, the better your thing is, but you can bust or something. I don't remember how exactly it works. So, all right, I think that's it, folks. Yep, this dog's just becoming a. Have you, have you thought about at all when you're going to do your top 100 this year? Well, when did I do it last year? January, I think. Yeah, that's probably going to work out the best because I think I'll probably build it over Christmas break again. And yeah, I think that timing is going to be about right. That gives me time to play, like, some of these games that I want to play right now. Some other games. Get some extra plays in on some of the other games that I'm waffling about. Ranks and stuff like that. I would like to play a lot of those. So, there you go. Thinking about that. So, yeah, it'll be roughly two months behind yours. That's fine. Yeah. You're going to be competing with the Dice Tower hundreds <laughs> we, are the, we are part of the dice tower whatever yeah i don't care you can look at their stuff come over and look at mine compare they're gonna be quite different so yeah it's kind of fun i have i'm a weird combination of z and tom's tastes i think overall yeah so yeah i really like card games so it kind of follows these and i like quirky random things but i also like to play silly goofy games like Tom likes and I like heavy stuff which neither of them seem to go real heavy. So I don't know. I have a weird blend. It'll be fun for something different, so I don't I don't eh, that's not a big deal. Yeah, we saw the the Dice Tower the, they asked about the Dice Tower parody, board game breakfast parody. That was funny. On South Park. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. That was pretty funny. I about lost it when I saw it I was like, What? Yeah. That looks really and he's like, No, they did that on purpose. I was like, What? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Fun times. That's all I got to say. All right, I'm powering down. Me and Lady are powering down. This dog is just a dead weight right now. <laughs> Me and Lady are powering down. So the... check out my top 100. Definitely. Coming, coming Thursday, 40 to 31. Um, again, join the guild down in the comments. You can see our schedule. You know when the, the top 100s are going to be popping up because it's going to kind of have a weird schedule after this week because of BGG Con and Thanksgiving. It's going to go to one a week, so it's going to be, uh, I'm telling the schedule right now, it's going to be, <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to be one a week, so one, one Thursday, one next Tuesday, one the Tuesday after that, and then it's a live top ten the Tuesday after that. That's going to be fun. So, but the whole schedule's there, including, if you want to look, there's some weird thing posted, I think on December 29th, maybe? Say what? You might want to look at that. Really? Get us out of here. Interesting. Peeps, 
As always, it was wonderful chatting with you. You guys threw out some great games and conversation this evening, as always. And we will see you, well, you'll see us Thursday. We'll see you next Tuesday.